We're in the middle of dealing with the first Sunni Jihad. Well, the first Jihad in general, I think. Um, we've got a 20% war score, and if it ever pops up. Um, and it looks like most, uh, not most, but a lot of uh, members have joined. We're also on a kowtow right now, and we're unmarried because our wife has cheated on us. So, these guys are coming over here to hopefully go and siege down the capital of our enemy. If any luck, we'll capture one of his kids or uh, siblings or something. I also need to find a wife before I forget. The question is, we've already got an heir, so I don't think, hold on, uh, this guy, she's 65, it's gavel kind, this is the guy with the iron crown, that's why I'm interested in his land. Because if I can inherit that title somehow, I think I'll get the Iron Crown. Um... He's unmarried. Yeah, I'll have to keep my uh, eye out uh, uh, eye out for this guy and his kids. I think. Anyway, um, let's go look for somebody else. I think. I want someone from a great house. Preferably somebody with a possible large title to gain from it. Like, uh, Austrasia? A combination of that and Burgundy. She's 41 and married. She's one. That's way too young. France. It's not that large of a nation. Ireland is a possibility. It's all feudal already. Scotland? course they're married or like his kids are married Bavaria she's only three she's 13 before I go with her though See what Sweden has to offer. Okay, they already got a betrothal there. Let's arrange a betrothal to her if we can? No. Prefer matrilineal marriage, political concerns. Still no.
Wow, that's a lot of title claims. But she's imprisoned. Yeah, she won't. Like, there's no way. Alright, well. Pannonia's under a pagan ruler. Flanders is pretty big. So they'll say yes to that. It'll be a while so before she is of age, though. Oh, well. It'll let me hopefully get claims to that land with uh, my dynasty, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Right? Please tell me that's the case. Oh, never mind. It's a bad betrothal. Screw it. Should have checked claims first. So... Aquitaine? Those kids don't have claims on anything. That's a no, of course it is. They would probably prefer matrilineal. Uh... King Arnold. Let's look at actual claimants. She's 33. 41. There's a possible good marriage. There we go. Somebody with a an inheritable claim on Flanders. A rather large realm. Let's put these guys on the ships. Somebody died. I can collect a royal aid duty. Money or prestige. I think we're we are maxed out on prestige opinion, so money it is. Um, fastest way to get over to Baghdad. Land in Tyrus. Go that route, I think. Peasant revolt for something. We won't catch anything there. We won the battle against the uh, uh, Peasant Revolt for Heraclea. The Emperor has kept his eyes on you, the Chief Minister says. May You may enter the throne room to show your subordination, but be quick about it. Hastily perform the kowtow before the silent Emperor. Gains Kowtow, gains 100 Grace uh, with Xiao Empire. Lose 1,000 Prestige, loses on Kowtow. We're home. Okay, so... I want to... find people for these titles. Let's go with my dynasty. I 
want to search Rome. The Duchess of Adrianopolis, Regent of Bulgaria. All right. Um, it's the Duke of Croatia. Is he the heir? No, that's the heir of Croatia. Before I do that, who was closest to the King of Africa? or the Duchy of Achaia, heir to the County of Mathon. I don't want anyone who is a an heir. Could go with some of my kids, even though some of them are claimants right now. Um, Alright, so... Kingdom of Africa. Three different duchies. I'm going to grant him the counties of, let me, th let me think about this for a second. He's going to get the county of Trent, I think. Trent. And then I'm going to transfer him to the King of Bulgaria because his wife is already a vassal of the King of Bulgaria. And then I'm going to give him the King, the Duchy of Friuli. Alright, um. guy is the heir to the Duchy of Croatia, so I'm not giving anything to him. Heir to the County of Methone. Commander of the Damascan Revolt. Heir to the Damascan Revolt. So he's an heir. Heir to the Duchy of Achaia. Duke of Dam Damascus. Heir to the Duchy of Achaia. He's not the heir to anything. He's a very young kid, though. I'm going to give him the county of Tunis and the county of Bizerta. And. Transfer him to who's the next weakest king? Malachia? All right. Count of Tunis. And that kid will get the Duchy of Tunis. And I think that takes care of all the titles except for the Kingdom of Africa.
Which one of these guys is the... Oh, he's a, he's a Catholic, so I'm going to give it to him. Kingdom of Africa. These ships are almost to where they're going. Uh, there's a eunuch that has distinguished himself. Eustathios. These guys will go to Baghdad. Do we have anybody who will move them faster? It doesn't look like it. Those guys are going to Giza. So let's put some people in charge of the armies here. I need some new commanders. Ooh, there's an organizer. A rough terrain flanker. A hunter. You'd think a uh, cannibal would be a morale damage person. Gardener is good at no, okay. Oh, architect is a good seizure. Another hunter. All right, that's good enough for now, I think. So those guys. This army will get the organizer. Hopefully he'll want to stay. We'll catch them. We'll also go to Alexandria just to head off anything that... Ooh. Uh... There we go. That was close. Closer than I would have liked it to be. These guys are getting out to where they're going. Captured the Emir of Jabal and Sistan. We will, of course, ransom him. We've captured somebody else. Um, cash rate. 25% chance I gain cruel. I don't think I want to gain cruel. Unless I already am. And I'm not, so no. Perfect. Capture this guy who can probably... Uh, do we get possible cruelty if we blind somebody? Okay, yes. Um, I can recruit him. No. I can declaim pro poetry. As you are such an accomplished po a poet and Abu Bakr is your prisoner, you may punish him by declaiming terrible poems to him. Read me bad, read me bad poetry. Sure. I've never actually clicked that before. Abu Bakr is forced to spend a full hour listening to one of the priests reciting some of your raunchiest poems. Not only is the holy person hesitantly mumbling out of the, out the words, but their face is reddening with each phrase. The scene is very uncomfortable. Abu Bakr cringed the whole thing, ugh, the whole thing through. Uh, Five percent chance he gains lunatic. He's not a lunatic. Did capture this guy as well. He is from a noble family, it looks like. Alright. This army's almost to where it's going. Should probably move my armies around again. News from China. Uh, the people of the Bundadarid Cognate probably never knew why the Heavenly Emperor chose to attack them. 
They have suffered a crushing defeat. Alright, come on. Thank you. Capture somebody. Doesn't look like we do. And now the war should be going a lot more quickly because we have uh, pretty large armies in the heartland of our enemies just sieging down his capital. Really, I can't siege that down? The Emirate of Galilee? is okay controls the, the that uh temple or that mosque what else does he hold baghdad yazd nope um kerman shah kerman shah is right next door so we'll go after that next like some people are starting to uh, bring in reinforcements. 89% on this war. An invite to plot. Decline. Uh, righteous imprisonment. No. Do you want this to be over yet? Nope. He's losing, but he won't give up yet. Now it's 100%. It doesn't matter if he doesn't want out. It's over. Jihad, the Jihad for Egypt fails. Let's disband people. Uh, disband the ships as well. Greek stuff in uh, places that didn't start with Greek culture. Especially up in Wallachia, that's crazy. Uh, if I recall, Sicily is still not actually controlled by Greeks. Let's ask to change his focus to heritage. Even though I have him, this guy in prison, he will. he is actually willing to change the kids thing to her uh, heritage. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for such heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Such an arrangement will be expensive, but the people expect nothing less. Uh, yeah, a, glory a glorious triumph will be held. Accused of apostasy. Negative 100. Um, what can I, what do I need for Oh, we just have to get vassal uh, vassals of count or higher above uh, above zero. Which doesn't sound too difficult. Maybe easier said than done, but okay, he wants. I'm. This is going to piss off everybody in Italy when I do this. So, inheritance, change to, I'll change it to elective monarchy. Please, by succession law change, I wonder if that'll go away when I destroy the kingdom. Nope, he's still pleased by the succession law change. So that'll that'll last for 20 years, and destroyed liege title only lasts for 10. So it didn't piss off uh, the Italian dukes as much as it, I thought it would. 
which works for me. So that that stabilizes a lot of my realm, actually. And act, now that I think about it, since Italy no longer exists, this is going to be a test. Weakest king is, I think, Wallachia still, which is weird because I just gave them a decent chunk of land. Yeah, I can give, like, I can pass the D Duke of Benevento to the guy now. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, I want Italy to be divided up. He's under Bulgaria, so I'm going to go... No. No, I'm not. Not yet. I'll wait on that. Someday, maybe. Not yet. A mighty triumph is held at the Hippodrome to celebrate the brave generals and soldiers who brought defeat to the enemies of the Empire. The people cheer as trumpeters lead a long procession that includes parading soldiers, carts filled with the spoils of war, and cages holding captives from the recent campaign. Um... I'd really like to somehow get at war with this guy. There are a few different what methods I, th I can think of to try to take the Iron Crown of Lombardy. One is that I go in, uh, is that I find some way to imprison him. Vicious rumors spread, corruption uncovered. Press revolts. Yeah, my hope is that I can get uh, like uh, one of three things. I either need to marry the female count of Saluzzo with my primary heir, or I need to. Did I say three or two? Or it's one of a few things. Um, I can either do that, marry a like, get this to a uh, female. Marry them with my primary heir and and inherit the Iron Crown of Lombardy, or I can get to war with this guy and just like siege them, let them uh, or assault their holdings, let them assault them back or siege them back, whatever, uh, and keep it going like that until I actually get the Iron Crown because that is a, it's a powerful artifact. It's quality five, monthly prestige plus one. 0.5 piety, and I, I am dead set on getting it. That is that is a new goal of this game. That is the a, a new goal of this campaign. I want the Iron Crown of Lombardy by the end. Unless it dis, unless they uh, lose it in succession somehow, in which case like that will become null and void, which will suck, but I mean, it's just so good. Um, anyway, the Jihad is over, so uh, I will continue this in the next episode.